A quick one on a question that comes up often, but it also led me to a bit of content that I have that to me, it's inspirational and motivational. And I think, I don't know about you, but I could always use a little bit more nowadays of that kind of stuff. So the question is, can whitewater kayaks be used in the ocean? And in my opinion, the answer is a yes with a but. If you have the time, I would recommend maybe two videos I've done where uh, one discusses things that usually make a sea kayak seaworthy. Uh, you can find it here. And then the other is understanding hull shape and how different kayaks will perform differently in um, in flat water and rough water. And I make the point of how sometimes small or whitewater kayaks or playboats or can be used, let's say, in the ocean where because overall, something that makes a sea kayak seaworthy is having airtight hatches that allow you to have the full cockpit of water and still have the kayak remain afloat. Whereas with white water, traditionally, you won't really have hatches. Don't get me wrong, there are a lot of crossover kayaks. There's white water kayaks that will have hatches and allow you to even camp out of them. But overall, usually the way white water kayaks can address not having uh, watertight hatches is by having uh, float bags in the front, in the back. They're crammed in there so that it gives flotation if the kayak floods with water. Also, if you've never paddled a whitewater kayak, when we say that, let's say in a skin on frame or a tight low volume kayak has to be worn like pants, in a way, whitewater kayaks are also, you get in there, you get squeezed in, there are some seats and some, um, some straps. There are some seats that really get you stuck in there. There are thigh braces that can lock down and keep you inside so that you have complete control over your whitewater kayak. If you watch whitewater boaters that are doing insane stunts or crazy tricks or do flips and stuff, they are in their kayak and have absolute control over the maneuverability of the kayak with their hips, with their thighs. Those are things that if you get in trouble, you have to be able to know exactly how to get out there quick. I think it adds a couple of layers of complexity where for those that have done it so much that it's become second nature, I think it's one of those things where it allows to use something that's not really designed for a specific function, but, but they happen to be so good at it or they have such control over what they're doing that then they're able to make it do whatever they want and it's all second nature to those particular paddlers. But the question made me think of a really wonderful day where I got to um, film uh, Kate and Snowy ripping things up in whitewater kayaks on ocean waves. Uh, it was just awesome watching them do their thing and uh, handling waves like absolute second nature and they were making these little boats do whatever they wanted it was very cool to see um but it also so it made me it made me want to watch the footage again it made me think very fondly of the days where we could just travel openly and move around and see everybody that we wanted to visit and come together and do all these things together and it makes me very hopeful for the day when we're going to be able to do that again enjoy <laughs>